Um, but today we have um, Steve Johnson from Eternally Fit. Uh, Steve is a personal trainer. He lives in Hornsby. Um, he's been in business for six years. His wife is Debbie and he has three daughters, Olivia, Abby and Ella. No pets. Um, uh, his hobbies and interests are playing trumpet and reading. Uh, he's lived in Hornsby for 22 years. Previous jobs are surveyor, a uh, geographic information system analyst and cardiographer. Is that how you say Cardiographer. Um, his burning desire is to make Eternally Fit the go-to place for health, fitness and body transformations in Sydney. Uh, something we don't uh, know about him is he used to do Cossack dancing um, and his key to success is if you want the prize, you must pay the price. Over to you, Steve. Yes, you up. Ten burpees. Uh, hands on this. Hey, hands on the table. Ten push-ups. Are we talking? No, no, just joking. Five burpees. We're going to talk about where I come from and what's taking me to where I am now. That is not in front of some fantastic business owners who I've only been learning from, but part of a successful business is our personal training business. Anybody know how long the average lifespan of a personal training business is? One year. Pretty close, yeah. Between six months and two years. Yeah. There's a lot of factors involved. Um, hopefully I've avoided that being business in 2013. So, walking the walk, what it really takes to succeed as a PT. <coughs> what do you see? Damn. <coughs> a muscle, <laughs> man. <laughs> Apart from a fine looking snapping rooster. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you see? <laughs> well, certified boot camp instructor, certified benefit instructor, certified kettlebell sandbag battle rope instructor, certified boxing for fitness instructor, Certified sports nutritionist, <coughs> certified body transformation specialist, certified athletic conditioning specialist, certified corporate health provider, no, corporate health provider and fitness, not anything else. <laughs> trainer of trainers, I've been fortunate enough to be the master coach of other trainers in the MetaFit uh, for all of New South Wales. It's, uh, it's a protocol brought out to, to England, from England, about high intensity pool training. And I've been the master coach of New South Wales for the last six years. Gym owner, operator, as busy. Trumpeter, bugler, sound engineer for the Australian Army Band Corps. The most important one, busy down three dollars. The thing is, in the P2 world, no one cares. No one really cares. They don't care what you have in your portfolio of, of certifications. They want to know what you can do for them. They want to know whether you're full of BS and actually can do it properly. Everyone starts somewhere. I started in 2013 in a commercial gym. It wasn't really my scene. Went out by myself, doing outdoor only, just boot camp. I was getting some okay results, but nothing that really you can write home about. Uh, people were saying, oh, I'm getting a bit fitter, but that's not good enough for me. I want to take people from where they want to be to where they really want to go. Uh, get back the baby, get the pre-baby body back. 2017, I discovered a process called metabolic precision by Dr. By Dr. Paul Crib, Aussie Dude. It's all about how to train properly, how to eat properly, and how to change the mindset and go from the bad habits to the good habits to give you permanent results. That's where I started getting some really good results. In 2018, I opened my own studio. And this informs me, it's a real basic studio. Barbells, dumbbells, no mirrors. No mirrors up to that. Right, it's just, and you walk in and you go, oh, this is it. Yes, that's it. That's where you get the results. <laughs> walk in the walk. Now, when I first started my body transformation, my energised program, I needed to show people that I could do it. How can I gain trust from my clients? How can I inspire them by doing my own transformation? Now, I know eight week challenges don't work. Going on this silly fad diet where you exercise like mad and eat rabbit food or boiled chicken breast and broccoli. How boring is that? That doesn't work. Because if it did work, we all, all would have done it by now in eight weeks and be the fittest, healthiest people we've ever known. Now, so I sought help how to play the long game to get firm results. Uh, one of the guys I met on a course in Melbourne, uh, Matt Walks, he's a trainer of the year three times in Australia. He has lost himself 
100 kilos. Wow. Yeah, he's gone from basically being on a deathbed with diabetes to being a phenomenal man. Main thing I've got him to help me with is being accountable. Nobody can do this stuff by themselves. Everyone thinks they can, but they can't. I've had people who thought, yeah, I've learned enough, Steve. Then they go away, and they put it back on and come back. How do I do it? Two or three fire sessions, focus, intensive resistance exercises. The focus and intense is what people miss out on. No longer than 45 minutes. I haven't got time to muck around in the, in the gym. I've got a busy life to deal with. Two ice sessions, intense cardio exercise, no more than 30 minutes. Overall, what does that give you? About no more than three to four hours a week of training. <laughs> Remember that, no more than three to four hours a week. Over that time, I've gradually learned how to fuel the body properly to take advantage of the metabolic stimulus these training sessions created. And that's the big thing. Boom, 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 boom. So what happened? There, start of cycle one, January 2018. 12 week cycle, 12 weeks ramping up in training, three week break, 12 week training, three week break. In the cycle two. Now there is a spray can in the next one, so it makes a bit of a difference. <laughs> uh, in the cycle three. So I, I was telling my people that, trust me, this is what you need to do because I've done it. That's the start, that's the finish. Remember I said about permanent results? <coughs> After that last photo, two week break and a seven week European holiday. Most of us go away and really bad on the kilos. <laughs> <laughs> Similar break, not much difference apart from the tan fade away because it's European. <laughs> so, right? Not bad for a 50 year old, I think. So you're never too old to make a change. If you think you need to get healthier and fitter, it's never too old, never too late. I train 18 year olds up to 65 year olds. So who am I looking for to take a, take a walk? Who do you know that's ready to commit to themselves? So they need to be the best version of themselves so they can be the best version of themselves in their family. They must commit to themselves first so they can help their family. Who do you know who's really unhappy with themselves and they know it's time to change? Who do you know has tried everything? Rubbish. They haven't tried me. <laughs> they've tried the pills, they've tried the diets, they've tried the silly exercise machines, they've tried other rubbish PTs out there, they've tried the DVDs, all this yo-yoing, dieting and all this stuff, is this not going to work? <coughs> In actual fact, it screws them up even more. Let's be consistent, let's be persistent, let's be accountable to someone who actually gives a grip about helping get to where they want to be. Someone who wants to re-energize their life and feel strong and confident sexy in their own skin. Oh, man. You too can become part of my wall of fame. <laughs> when people walk in the gym, I will very soon have posters up. What do you do? I do that. And you show the clip, this guy here, he's got their confidence. Take the first photo, second photo, yeah, I've got the right. Come easy. Got the prize. 